Hello everyone, my name is Lars, and today I want to go ahead and talk to you about Diablo 4's newest seasonal mechanic, Realm Walkers and the Seething Realm. So, with the release of the new expansion, uh, Season 6's Vessel of Hatred, we now have a new seasonal mechanic in the form of the Realm Walker and the Seething Realm sort of... Uh, dungeon so what's gonna happen is you're gonna be out and about you're gonna see on your map that there's gonna be the um the field of hatred or the, the hatred um sort of spawning with like a green devil head you'll see on the map um that will indicate to you that there is a uh realm walker that will spawn there if there's only like five minutes left the realm walker's probably been killed already and it's done but if you see the symbol that looks like little horns with a circle in, in the center of it, that means that the Realm Walker hasn't spawned yet and it's still being built up. So when you go ahead and you go to that area, there is a portal there. The portal can be accessed by any players and clicked on to speed up the summoning of the Realm Walker. Otherwise, just sit and wait for the timer to tick down and the Realm Walker will spawn at the end of the timer. Uh, but you can yeah, speed it up by spawning enemies and killing them from that portal. Once the timer ticks down, or you have filled up the bar by killing enough of the enemies, the Realm Walker will explode out of the ground. And then you have to chase his ass around the fucking field. You're just gonna have to haul ass after this dude, and just keep chasing him and kill all of his little buddies. He's gonna spawn... Um, elites that are just going to kind of tether to him and just, it looks like they're taking the turtle for the walk. Um, I don't know why you would take a turtle for a walk, but these demons are, I guess. So that is, it is what it is. Once you have chased down the realm walker and you've gone on ahead and done enough damage to all the demons around him, you'll actually start to push damage onto the realm walker by killing them. Yeah. And the realm walker might even spawn these little... Um, fountains of hatred, and if you take those out, he will end his sort of immunity phase, and you can fight him just straight up. However much damage you've done to him at that point is how much you have to finish him off from, so if you've done about halfway through his health bar, you only have to fight him halfway from there. If you've done almost no damage to him, you're gonna have to beat him all the way up. Uh, but... Luckily, lots of people around to join together with and fight the Realm Walker together. It's a activity that can be done with groups of people, and everyone will be able to follow up to the next stage um, just by participating. So if, so if other people are around, that's great. It's going to be even easier to beat. And if you're by yourself, just do your best. <laughs> uh, once you've gotten a bit of strength on you, the Realm Walker isn't necessarily that hard to beat. So don't be discouraged by it. Give it a shot. And if you do end up dying a bunch because um, you weren't strong enough to take it on, uh, try again next time. Um, so once you down the Realm Walker, he will go ahead and release the portal on his back to the Seething Realm. Once you enter the Seething Realm, you're just going to basically pre be presented with an area similar to most of the dungeons you've done up to this point. You're just going to have to work, go ahead and work your way through until you get to this other portal within. And once you reach this portal, you're going to have to make a choice. The portal is going to give you three options at first, but eventually it'll give you a fourth option of which of the opals you want to earn at the end of the run. So you can still earn multiple, um, but this is the one you want to hand pick. So your options are gold, equipment, materials and socketables, each one having their own cost requirement. Gold is the cheapest, requiring only some iron ore, whereas like uh, the equipment and materials will require the use of the murmuring orbs currency, little, little purple things. And the socketables requires angel um, whispers, I think. That one, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't do right away because of the fact that you're probably going to need those for your potions. But eventually you'll have enough of those to where you can uh, start using those. Because socket wheels is where you get your um, gem fragments and runes. So you're going to want to be doing those eventually. But for now, just whatever. But at the start, whatever you can manage, whatever is available to you, just go for it. 
And once you enter into this new seething gate, you're going to enter into a new dungeon sort of area, and you just clear through it. As you're clearing through it, you're going to come across these portals. So your options for once you enter into these new portals is you could end up with an event where you have to either clear out a bunch of mobs or protect something. You could end up with a uh, fury, flurry of elites that you have to beat up, uh, like two or three elites. Uh, or you can end up with something like the Butcher, as I fought here. And all in all, they're all pretty straightforward. Uh, but doing these gets you just extra rewards, uh, so go ahead and do them whenever you can. Uh, there's usually at least one portal as you're rolling through this area of the Seething Realm. Once you have cleared the area and you found the boss room, uh, the boss room is not really a boss per se, but it's just going to spawn a lot of mobs. There's going to be a chest in the center when you open it. It's going to start an event that's going to spawn a lot of mobs. Uh, just clearing, just keep clearing them out until eventually they spawn the Sentinel Guardians. You're going to need to kill three or four Sentinel Guardians to clear the run. They're going to be, okay, so the Sentinel Guardians are going to be elites with a lot of enhancements on them, so just be ready to fight those. Uh, there's also going to be lots of enemies spawning as well, so if your build isn't necessarily good for AoE, you're probably going to have a little bit of a harder time in this section, but you can just try to focus down the Sentinel Guardians, mm -hmm. get as much damage on them, and clear it as quickly as you can. Once you clear it, you'll have two chests open, and those one of them will have your opals in it and a bunch of other items, and the other one will have a couple of gear pieces and other types of things. So just collect your loot and hop on out. Yeah. Uh, doing all of this is connected to the new vendor and... Um, it also pertains to the new um, seasonal uh, quests and stuff. There's a lot of things related to this. So uh, just get out there, keep hunting for the realm walkers, and get as much as you can out of them. Use it to gather up the opals so that you can use those to target down the stuff you want. Each opal has its own particular uh, boon that it gets you. Uh, each one gives you 30 minutes of an increase to the chance to find either gold, equipment, um, herbs and mineral materials, or uh, gem fragments and uh, runes. The socketable one for gem fragments and runes states that it has a likely chance of finding gem fragments and a rare chance of finding the runes. So the runes are still going to be rare drops, but these will boost the drop rate. So yeah, that's it for this video regarding the new season mechanic. I know that it's, I know that the expansion's new and everything just came out, but I just want to go ahead and ask everybody watching, how are you enjoying the expansion so far? Uh, what's your favorite class? Or did you try out the Spiritborn? Did you go back to, a, did you stick with one of the classes that you already like to play? Um, how's the experience going so far for you? Let me know in the comments down below how you're doing. I personally started off with a Spiritborn just to try it out and see how it's going, and I'm having fun with it. I like doing the quill spray, just throwing the feathers around, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, just let me know in the comments what you're, uh, feeling about the expansion so far, how you're, how it's going for you, and, uh, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to see those responses. So this is just the first video in a line of uh, Diablo 4 videos I'll be doing. I'll be doing some informational videos, and I'll be doing some build videos later on. Uh, but for now, just some informational stuff, just to kind of get us going into the uh, into the swing of things, because I'm just kind of getting back into Diablo. I played it a little bit prior to this expansion, but I'm getting into it, and I'm having a lot of fun. So I hope that continues, and I hope that everyone watching, uh, and if anyone subscribes, that you enjoy this journey with me. Um, so if you've liked this video and you want to see more uh, Diablo 4 content from me, go ahead and then hit the like and subscribe down below for more content to come. And I just want to say thank you again for watching. Hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next one.